we all want to be participants in, in, in the generation that we're in. There's a lot, a lot of beautiful, beautiful ideas, but if you can't get them executed the way that you want to, it's not going to work. And getting them executed with all of the people that it takes to get that done, that's a very delicate, fragile thing. It's a very fragile formula. And sometimes it just doesn't gel. My motivation is to take risks. I mean, the riskier, the better. That's what's, that's what's fun about it. So to move forward, you have to be bold and you have to take risks and you have to take leaps. And there has to be an element of risk. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see when I'm looking at creative expressions from other people. So um, to be able to be independent and to have that um, protection and support, I am under no illusion that that was my talent that has led me to last this long. Um, that is just the fact that I had a force around me that protected me and that carried my ball to the end goal so when you're gonna do a show I, I want something that has power and so that automatically becomes um, warrior-like I suppose seduction is like one of the most primal powerful forces around us 24 hours a day. I was thinking of this period of entitlement and I was looking back to that period of anticipation. There was a flamboyance and a kind of an innocent joy. This is from my perspective. I mean, I'm just, from what I saw to that kind of aesthetic, there was, um, it was a time of liberation and of anticipation of things that could be. Uh, when we look at it from now, there was resistance and there were people defying that resistance and expressing themselves and um, there was a sense of anticipation. Makeup is about glamour and this is contemporary glamour. I mean, uh, body modification and altering the body because, I mean, a lot of that stuff, it, a lot of the makeup was very classical. I want to be delighted, and delight and, and delight encompasses beauty and a little bit of a challenge, I think, um, and a shock, a little bit of shock. Um, that's what I'm looking for, so that's what I want to provide. So I'm, I'm thinking of myself as the audience, uh, making compositions of clothes that have, have some kind of narrative, you're creating um, a poem want to um, invade the space around you in an exaggerated way because exaggeration is fun it's play exaggerating in your clothes exaggerating your own image I mean it's like a gila monster one element of seduction is indifference when you are flamboyant in an indifferent way that kind of indifference is is seductive just the attitude uh, of almost rejecting classical beauty and and doing the opposite almost kind of in, can enhance a feeling of seduction. Demanding attention can be aggressive or it can be a form of play. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm doing, I'm probably incorporating both mm -hmm. when I do my stuff. To be able to control it, your own narrative, I mean, everybody wants that. Everybody wants to be able to be remembered the way they wanted to be remembered. So that's a blessing. 